Hello everyone, I want to keep this short and straight to the point. I don't like people who stretch things out for too long, so I'm going to be reading my paper, my research paper on electromagnetism and consciousness, investigating the hypothesis of consciousness as an intrinsic property of electromagnetism. I'm not the person to come up with this. I know um, I'm building up on top of Todd Murphy's and Michael Persinger's work. I just, I just want to study what they had to do, and I had to study electromagnetism on my own. So I'm just going to read it, start reading it. The nature of consciousness and its connection to physical phenomena remains a subject of a considerable scientific interest. This paper explores the hypothesis that consciousness may be an intrinsic property of the electromagnetic field. Electromagnetism is a fundamental force in nature, encompassing electric and magnetic fields and the governing interaction of charged particles. Additionally, the human brain generates a weak magnetic field during neuronal activity. We present an overview of electromagnetism, discuss the brain's magnetic fields, and explore the potential implications of the interconnectedness of electromagnetic fields throughout the universe. By examining the relationship between consciousness and electromagnetism, we aim to contribute to a deeper understanding of a fundamental nature of consciousness and its relationship to the universe's electromagnetic fabric. Consciousness is one of the most profound yet elusive phenomena in the scientific inquiry, traditionally understood as an emergent as emergent from the complex interactions with the neural circuits in the brain, consciousness is not localized to any specific region of the brain, but is thought to be a property of the brain as a whole. In this paper, we investigate the hypothesis that extends the scope of consciousness beyond the brain, proposing that consciousness may be an intrinsic property of the electromagnetic field. Electromagnetism is a fundamental force in nature, characterized by the presence of electric and magnetic fields. Electric fields arise from electric charge, while magnetic fields emerge from moving charges or move charging fields. These, fi these fields are pervasive throughout the universe and play a critical role in behavior charged particles. Light is a form of electromagnetic radiation composed of oscillating electric and magnetic fields. It spans a broad spectrum, including visible light, ultraviolet, and infrared waves. Electromagnetic radiation exhibits wave-particle-like duality, manifesting as both waves that can interfere and diffract as discrete energy packets known as photons. Photons carry no mass. Also, magnetic fields also are not made of anything physical, which is interesting. I can almost contribute it to magic, but apparently scientists don't like when I say that. Neuronal activity. <laughs> neuronal co neural communication in the brain involves the transmission of electrical signals, resulting in the production of weak magnetic fields. These fields, which can be measured using techniques such as magneto sip I, I don't fucking like when scientists make these long-ass names. I'm just going to say MEG. MEG are significantly weaker than the Earth's magnetic fields. Consciousness is understood to emerge from the complex interactions across neural circuits. It is a holistic property of the brain rather than being localized to specific regions. The interconnectedness of magnetic fields throughout the universe connects smaller fields such as those produced by the brain to larger fields from celestial bodies, galaxies, and beyond. This suggests a complex relationship between scales of electromagnetic phenomena. The hypothesis that consciousness could be an intrinsic property of electromagnetic field raises the possibility that consciousness may extend beyond the human brain and be influenced by by or connected to the electromagnetic fields across the universe. This hypothesis invites a consideration of consciousness as a brain-based phenomenon and consists and suggests it may be a broader universal property. Understanding the connection between consciousness and electromagnetism could leave novel insights and approaches in consciousness research. The exploration of consciousness as an intrinsic property of the electromagnetic field presents an intriguing presents intriguing possibility for interdisciplinary research. By combining insights from neuroscience, physics, and other fields, we can further investigate the potential connections between electromagnetic fields and consciousness. Such efforts may offer new perspective in the nature of consciousness and its relationship to the fundamental forces of the universe. In conclusion, the hypothesis that consciousness is an intrinsic property of electromagnetism remains speculative, but offers a compelling framework for future research. Continued investigation in this area may lead to breakthroughs in our understanding of consciousness and its role in the larger context of the universe so basically what does all this means is consciousness may be an intrinsic property of electromagnetic field which means we're all connected and everything is all one and electromagnetism is the link between the non-physical and the physical and uh, magnetic fields are also not physical as well so that's pretty interesting so you know same way as uh space time is not physical either um hold on this here <laughs> same time same way as space time is not really a physical thing yet it interacts with all physical matter all right, so I additionally speaking, I completely left this out. So I'm going to be reading this out for you right now. Electromagnetism can alter states of consciousness. Exploring meditation involves examining your emotions, feelings, and identity. There may be an interconnected network of 
collective consciousness due to the magnetic field. The image you see here is a chamber called the Ein Sof Infinity Device. To build on yourself, get 100 feet of bifiler 1618 AWG copper wire and then some glue. Wrap 38 to 42 turns depending on your head size. Additionally, it, uses, it utilizes two special coils called, that, called the Tesla bifiler pink fucking hell additionally it utilizes two tesla coils called tesla bifiler pancake coils to generate magnetic fields that spin like a tornado helping to synchronize signals between the left and right side of the brain with that being said it also utilizes red lights as a wavelength of six 650 nanometers to boost energy production in cells and specifically specially designed sounds and background noise to put you in a trance-like state. Here are my conclusions. Consciousness seems to emerge from complex system, becoming more ex expressive as the system grows in complexity. Think rainforest or the human brain. Consciousness seems to be an intrinsic property of electromagnetism, allowing for non-locality and the interconnectedness of us all. The awakening process can lead to temporary insanity and sometimes narcissism, but it's possible to navigate through it. Think of it like cleaning up the clutter. So when you get to meditation, there's an exploration phase and there's a narcissism phase, and there you will go insane for a little bit it is it is inevitable there may be a consciousness dimension though i can't prove it yet so let me talk about the exploration phase the stage one exploration phase basically you go wow this stuff is cool i feel so much love and light this is so uniting and friendly i can do cool things like remote viewing or out-of-body experiences it's awesome stage two is awakening you realize societal norms are an illusion morality is subjective and you could become your true self and empowering yourself you don't have to be a slave to anyone but what you choose to serve is what you choose to serve you don't have to serve the corporations that you know you have to make money for you can serve your own idea like i want to be a gardener i want to be a farmer you know like instead of doing what other people want you to do to make money for the bourgeois class you know you can do as you please you are your own master you are your own leader you you don't need leaders it's all an illusion we don't need money we don't need leaders we don't need politicians it's all bullshit so stage three is insanity when you go why is nobody else realizes this are they stupid wow i'm so much better than everyone these npcs are so fucking stupid i am literally a god and everyone here is just an npc it's my reality y'all just live in it this is the insanity part this is this is this is an expression you have to express that out it has to be released because that's it's been building up inside you you never knew about it but it's been building up inside you the whole time so stage four is reconciliation you chill out people are the way they are for a reason and there's a lot of material things in the world that define how people act until they awaken from that state so just live just love and just laugh <laughs> and stage five is inner peace the demons are gone you become like a water you become like water you flow towards peace you flow up trees you bring life into your surroundings everything is good life is good and you are now very peaceful and warm like a tropical beach on a nice day bringing compassion and warmth avoiding all conflict you now avoid conflict you avoid politics even politics you agreed with you just don't care anymore it's like you can't afford to care because like wh what the fuck am i supposed to do about this fucking war situation out there in the middle of fucking nowhere like i can't do shit about that bro do you want me to build an iron man suit no i can't anyways i'm gonna go live love laugh and enjoy nature i know that's rude i know that's inconsiderate sometimes but like that's the only thing i can do i can't focus on outside exterior factors that i can't control so yeah